Oh goody, I can buy an iron longsword. How much do I need? I'm gonna have to sell two of these bows. There we go. Come on, kid, get happy. <gasps> that 20! Give me people! Please! Here, you equip those wind greaves. Please give me people! No! No! Ah. Oh gosh, she killed a ghost. You are my hero. Oh gosh, she just ate an apple. Don't eat the apples. Eat good food. <gasps> it's over 20. It's over 20. Yes! We will rebuild society. Alright, so I guess this marks the beginning of episode 2 then. Let's get this construction done. I kind of want to put some torches in the middle of these fields. Might not be a great idea, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell them to until that. And then harvest the wheat. I don't want to destroy the wheat, because the wheat, unlike the stuff I've been doing, is not that valuable to me. Actually, let's keep it tilled, because it'll look neat. I have to destroy the wheat, though. What well, just got dead? A toady got dead. Destroy wheat. Torches. This is also serves the double benefit of keeping them happier while they're doing tasks, which is nice. That is a pinky merchant, I believe. No, it is a materials merchant, which is just as good. Because you can buy valuable shit from them, like gold and silk. There's no way I'll be able to muster up enough goods to sell all of this to them. Or to buy all of this. Can I sell wood? I can sell wood. I will sell all of my wood to you good sir still not enough um i will sell all of my flint to you good sir and this bamboo now i'll keep the bamboo i want to keep the mud as well i need to get started on a flower farm all right so these materials aren't that relevant right now but they'll be much more relevant in the near future get these people equipped with what I can. A stone spear, that must have dropped off a toady. And I guess I'll give it to them for the time being, but I'll switch it out later. Actually, because I have an anvil and stuff, I think... No, that requires... I can build... Yeah, I can build a spear or a longsword. Let's build a longsword. I'll turn both all of this silver into longswords. Now let's make bows. So if I'm going to use up my precious material, I want it to be amazing. And obviously Anne is going to get one because Anne is the hero that we needed. The hero we deserve and the one we need right now. These people are taking a long time to get their farming done. Or their trading, rather. Do I have the priorities messed up? No, it should be fine. Okay, now we're actually starting to generate... Um, currency. And I never ordered them to build torches here. And now there's some wood here, and I don't know how it got there. I wonder if I should build the flower gardens here, or if I should build another building here like, to hold, house these things. Let me unlock that, and then move it over one so it's in line with the others. Alrighty. So far, so good. 
and by so good I mean we lost a lot of people and it was really scary there for a while but we're doing okay now we've laid the groundwork for a better time in the future I guess you can have I'll give you the iron longsword for now I need to get some military cabinets built so I can house my armors and weapons. And I'm going to destroy this wood because I'm too lazy to wait for them to pick it up. Because who knows when that will be. I don't know why they're not using the stockpiled wood and giving it to him. I'm going to destroy these stockpiles. Uh oh. Game paused, which means... A siege. Thankfully, <laughs> it's my very first siege. It is only two spiders, so I don't think we have much to worry about. They're also on the other side of the map, so it'll be a while before we see from them. Do I have any stone left? I do. Let's order them to build a road. And that is spiders dead. Alright, good. I don't know how that, why that wood is there. Slowly but surely is. I will not have enough stone to complete this, but oh well. I'll tell them to mine some more. I should start going underground. At least by destroying these stockpiles, I got them to put the wood where it needs to go. Just nice. I'll still have this iron and bamboo sitting around, but oh well. I'll build a stockpiling area soon enough. Got some torches up so the field's nice and bright. And I should probably build a roof on this building soon. You know what, let's get that back area built. Sure, let's do that. Clink, 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 clink. I will need to destroy this because they don't have anywhere to put it right now. Unfortunately, that's my bad, but we'll just have to deal with it. Bird, get out of here. Chicken, get you too. I'm going to put some prepared food barrels back there. And a ladder. Which will just be floating in the middle of nowhere for the time being once I get that ground built. You have to continually make orders for roads so that they don't fill up the spots again. Screw you. Now they're just putting food there. You have barrels you could put them in. They're not full. Uh, I guess I'll order them to dig more stone because if I don't then they'll just keep doing this. I'm not going to have them dig out the whole top layer this time. I guess I'll have them dig that bit. The stone. Don't have any lights around here. I'll unlock these and then have them moved so I can put torches here. And that will enable all of the things back on these ones. Because they aren't going to stay there. Alright, now I can build these here. Let's actually build two raw ones as well. And then, where is it? The ladder. It's not ladders. That is ladders. For the time being, I will place some raw material barrels over here. This will allow me to move the ones that I already have. Mostly this is just to keep townsfolk happy. I won't do a perfect job of it, but it will help. And sometimes that's all you can ask for. Get the fuck out of here, Wood. I got important road building to do. Alright, they're probably out of stone. No, they still got stone. This is going to be a wonky hill after I'm done with it. I might want to have them dig the whole thing out. 
Okay, where did these go? Enable all. Enable all. Alright. Once orders once they start to complete some orders, they should get a bit happier and we can't and we'll be able to get up to eight people. Unless I decide I want to Uh oh, what's going on? A wear pick? What the f dropped pork. <laughs> well then. Can build some more rooms to get some more people. Which sounds like a good idea. Eventually I'll start probably building underground barracks, but right now we just have to worry about getting the townsfolk in the first place. This will put me up to 16 once everyone's happy again. Who knows when that'll be. Have to make sure, you know what, I think the top of this building should be Anne's room. You know, it should be the most extravagant thing that I can build. Because Anne is my town MVP. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Iron Mine still chugging away, which is good. Let's dig out this stone. But be careful not to get my townsfolk trapped, which is why I'm concerned about digging out, actually going and digging out the cliff. You know, I'll go ahead and tell them to dig the whole thing. Besides, it will create some flat ground. Because trust me, townsfolk will get stuck underground. They have the propensity to do so. I do need to be careful how much how many orders I give at once because I don't want them to destroy materials by dropping materials on top of them. Which means I'm going to need to build some stockpiles again. There's a nice large stockpile. To hold all your goods. Manage stockpile turn off wood. So I don't have to worry about them filling it up. The road is mostly done, which is nice. Do I have that other bow? I do have that other bow. My wood-clad soldiers unite! Alright. I like how I rush to build this stuff and then haven't been able to build any of the other things just because it's been so close down to the wire. We do have 12 iron, which is good. We can have them dig this stone out, just because it's nice and easy. I know I was complaining earlier about not wanting them to drop stuff, but I don't feel like sitting here watching them move all the things. Which, in this case, it's fine because there's some free space lying around for the materials to fall on, which is good. I'll dig this out afterwards. priority is higher than actually constructing things, isn't it? No, it's not. It might be, actually. I don't know what counts for what. So what I can actually do is I can build... I can dig out this layer and start building... Um, houses in it, but I have to be careful because I'll end up breaking into the dungeon below and I don't really want to end up losing any people. So I might just let happiness tick up for a while. Oh my gosh, screw you. Where's item construction? Yeah. Screw you, Apple. Give me a sec. I'm having issues. There we go. Now they should actually place these things, maybe. Alright, good. There we go. Now you got it. They still have this ugly ass market sitting around. It'll be a while before everything's all nice and dandy, I feel. Unfortunately. 
but I haven't given them any new orders, so it should they should start to get a bit better. Once I get this move, I might I'll consider building a small garden right here, because this looks like a good place for it. Maybe some farms. I don't know. So hard to tell. I just don't have enough people to get stuff done right now. Is the problem? That is not your bed, sir. I do not know why you are sleeping there. Let's actually order them. Oops construct glass because we can actually make it there we go so I want to build these hmm. do I have enough gold to build a bird cage because you bet your bippy I would let's actually get this house oh my gosh there's an apple in the way let's build this area just so I can move Anne into her new room and so we can get some progress done. Let's mark out the door first. Um, do I want my houses to be tall or s I'll, I'll have them be too tall. Otherwise they'll be too stout. I don't want that. So I'm thinking we'll just have a similar pattern for the um, actual walls and stuff as we do with the floor. That should cut it. And then I will build stone. And it looks like they're getting some glass done, which is nice. Actually, let me cancel this and I'll put another door here. If, because I intend to have that to be something important built over here. Not entirely certain what, but something useful. Alright. Oh, I forgot to tell them to build a stone wood, wood or a stone wall in here. There we go. Alright, so the nice thing about the stone walls is I can use them for the framework first and foremost because townsfolk can only walk up one block tall inclines. So I'll have to use scaffolding to help them reach the higher areas. But if I just have these, then it's not a complete wall yet. So it isn't too much of a difficulty. And I'll build the second part of the ladder right now just for kicks. Alright, what do I want to do? Let's build some... Oh! Wow. Just got some people. Hooray! You get a weapon, and you get a weapon, and you get a weapon, and you get a weapon. And then I'll get you all equipped in your items. And then I'll have people build the other ones for the other people. There we go. The froggy died on the way over, it looks like. Anyway, go over here and we'll build some windows. The nice thing about these windows is that they count as full blocks. Or I guess they're just a bit different than these windows, so I prefer them because they're a bit more reliable to construct. I think that should be good, and then I'll build wood for the rest. Because glass is a limited resource right now because I don't have a lot of spare dirt. I'll end up getting it, trust me, but it is a finite resource, so that should be better than mine. Now, I think they technically have access... Well, because I have this ladder, I won't need to worry about scaffolding as much. Oh yeah, as you can see, there's a problem. A person built a block and ended up on top of it, so now they're starving to death. But now they're safe, because I built scaffolding for them. So it's very... you have to be very careful when constructing buildings that your townsfolk don't get stuck on top of them, because bad things will happen. Let me build some torches... Uh, some wall lamps now that this wall is actually complete. That should light up the whole area, more or less. And then... Hmm. Do 
I want this to be the same floor layout as the floor, or as this below, or do I want this section to be a roof? I think I'll have this section be a roof, and then just make this large section Anne's room. Okay, so we'll start off first by building a layer of stone for the floor plan. You can only build on areas that are supported by adjacent blocks, so it's a tedious process, but as they slowly fill in areas, you'll be able to add more and more blocks, and I'll build the last piece of the ladder. I can, however, go over here to roofs. Let's... Hmm. I don't have flowers yet, and these require a lot of stone, which I also don't have. So let's stick with wooden roofs for now. Doors do not count as... Doors do count as solid blocks, I should say, but even though it's two blocks tall on the sprite, it is only one block tall in terms of the actual item, so this is technically unsupported right now. And that should be bared. You should bear that in mind when you are building your own things. That's still got a little bit of stone left. Hopefully enough to finish the project. I'm thinking what we end up doing is actually build a balcony right here. That, 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 I guess like that, that will complete the stone portion. See some bread sitting there on the floor, don't appreciate that, but they'll get to it. I don't know if I want to stick with this farm fence or not. It's nice because farm fence is one block tall and prevents them from walking over it, but you can't place things on top of it. Oh, there's a, a boat. Ugh. Oh well. Still a merchant. But, uh, I might want to replace these. I guess I have that lamp right there, so I don't need to. So I can... But I want to build torches on top of fence posts. I will sell you as many things as I can, good sir. Even though I know people still need armor. Is all I have to sell. Do you have anything worth buying? You do not. Alright, confirm trade. Go on with your days. Alright, so that's getting done. Let me go back and finish the floor. That was fast. And then I will build these log walls out here on the balcony because then I can put these candles on top of them. Stone walls. More wood. It's a whole process building, but it's necessary and it's important. I will want more scaffold so that people don't get stuck on the roof. wait for them to build that one. There we go. Let's have them place the door and the candles. Boom. Actually, let me do something cheeky. Ooh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to waste some resources to do it, but I can do this. And I can zone this as a dining room. Oh, one moment. Give me like 10 minutes. I am recording. And then I can delete these blocks and rebuild them, of course. And it still maintains the dining room even though it isn't the appropriate size. And these ones will be covered in with like the door and stuff, so I don't care that much. So I'll be able to have a small dining room on the balcony. Unfortunately you can't zone things where walls already are, which is why I had to delete the walls. I actually, I kinda want that to be the stone as well. Oh well. Inefficiency, but we'll manage. I might have to get more stone, but oh well. 
tell them to replace the door. I don't know if they ever built it or not. Nice thing about building primarily with wood is that I can afford to destroy it because it's a renewable resource. And it's very easy to get more of at that as well. Let's have them dig this whole thing out. It'll be a pain, it'll take them a while, but it needs to get done. Or at least I want it to get done. It doesn't need to get done. That should be enough stone to finish the house. If I don't already have enough, which I think I do. Here comes another merchant. What do I want to do with the windows here? I think I'll just have one by one windows. Ooh, it's a materials merchant. Still don't have any flowers for him, but I will. Mostly I'm just concerned with silver and gold for the time being, because that'll be the material that I'll struggle to get the most. Don't. Alright, good. Um, I'll hold on to the rest of my stuff for now. Alright, now let me zone this to be Annette's, or Anne's room. I always want to call her Annette. Now, in order to get these last little edges right here, I need to go to expand personal room, and then do that, and then do that, and then change owner, and Valone. And I will unlock these so that you can bring them to your room. I will give you a golden throne, even though it's a huge waste of materials, but you deserve it. You have earned it. Put the pot of plant there, and the torch there, and how about another torch in the corner? In a treasureless treasure chest. <laughs> Ah, uh, the material merchant's gone. And this amazing looking clock. Let's go back to furniture. And yeah, I don't really need that. Um, <laughs> you can actually build, these are kind of fun because you can build them into bunk bed, or you can m basically make ladders out of them. But that's not relevant right now. I think this is good for the time being, unless... Yeah, let's build you a bonsai tree. Even though it's technically an outdoors thing, but who cares. Alright. Build these out here, and get the roof on here, and then we will be good to go for this episode, because my friend wants me to get on Skype with her. Boom, boom. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So things are... We were, oh, more people. We're off to a very shaky start, but things do appear to be getting better, which is good for me. Oh gosh, it's a good hammer. Let me get everyone equipped with things that I can get them equipped with. There we go. Alright, let's finish this roof. It's almost done. Then I will delete the scaffolding, and we will have completed our first building. Still a lot of work to do, obviously, before everything's up and running as it should be, but we've already created a town hero, and things are better than they were when we began. So, got more people, we've got more equipment, we've got a reliable source of food, although this wheat field kind of looks wonky, and I feel like I should break it up a bit, but I probably won't, and there's a sheep in the middle of it, but whatever. Whatevs. Actually... I got an idea. Skylights! I know I haven't played a whole lot of Minecraft on my channel, but one thing that my friends know is that I love to build skylights. So I figured why not add them in towns. 
can't actually see through them because it's just a solid sprite, but whatever, the light goes through and it makes me feel like I've accomplished something. Alright, so that is it for episode 2. We managed to pull it back from the brink of despair, and I will see you guys next time when we, I guess, continue to prosper more, probably build something nice over here, get some flower farms going, and just generally hope to, you know, prosper. Anyway, see you guys around.